The 2022 edition of Easy Stamp was released on January 3rd, 2022, and I'll go over some of the enhancements uh, we have made. The Easy Stamp databases are continuously updated by us and now comprise of 922,000 stamp listings with over 633,000 images spread over 750 uh, complete databases we provide covering the entire world. There are now over 11.5 million market values provided in these comprehensive, da uh, comprehensive databases we provide. They are complete and provide detailed information on each stamp, not just the Scott number as in other programs. And only Easy Stamp allows you to truly inventory stamps from multiple countries at the same time. One of the major new features we added is the improvement to the global searches and the ability to save and recall these searches. This is extremely useful for topical collectors. Let's say you collect trains on stamps or stamps on stamps or Europa issues, whatever the topic, topic may be. These searches can be performed and saved for use anytime. Global searches allow you to work on and inventory stamps from multiple countries all in one screen. One of my favorite topics that I have collected for years and I'm always adding to is any stamps relating to World War II. I'll show you uh, this later in the video, so let's begin. Let's show you how to perform a new global search. First, first, we'll go to the power search and we'll search for automobiles. So we go to search, power search, and I'm going to search for automobiles and I've selected any text field. Then I'm going to click on global. I'm going to select the countries. I've already pre-selected all of them. You can restrict it, but I, for a global search, you want to include all the databases. And then just click OK. And this will begin the search. As you can imagine, we spend a lot of time when we scan the stamps to index them by as many topics as possible. Not just the text on the stamps, but also by what is shown on the stamps in the most common terms like ships, trains, automobiles, and so on. Every stamp we, we inventory or we enter into the database is indexed in many different ways. Once the search is done, click on Show. I usually leave it in spreadsheet, uh, uh, sorry, spreadsheet format, uh, but you can also uh, use Thumbnail Viewer. You can switch it later. So we'll just click on Show. And there's our list. You can switch back and forth, as I said, between thumbnail view and the spreadsheet view. Now that the list is created, this one has over 6,400 hits in it. Uh, you can export it for recall at any time. So I will export this one and save it as automobiles. Uh, we go down to this icon down here. And just as a side note, whenever you hover over any icon in Easy Stamp, it will give you a brief description and a hint down here in the status bar. So I'm going to click on export. I'm going to give this a name of automobiles. And click OK. And now that's been saved. Once we have the, uh, the list uh, on screen, we can scroll through it and, and go through all the different countries and click on you know, whatever one that we want to look at. Um, so let's say, for example, I wanted to go down to, oh, I don't know, Senegal and pick one of these particular uh, stamps. You can, if we have the image, um, you can uh, click on it or you can uh, use the uh, show icon which is down here that'll show it in the main screen it'll open up that screen and then you can just go ahead and inventory that stamp and then move on to the other one that you you know any others that you want to uh, uh, inventory so let's say it was this particular stamp again I would just show it it'll automatically open that country and then you can just inventory your stamp Normally, I would have this window here off to the side, but for the video purpose, I, I can't show you both screens at the same time. 
as I mentioned, you can switch back and forth between uh, the thumbnail view and the, and the spreadsheet view, which is kind of what I like to do. And you can change the number of images here displayed in the thumbnail viewer by clicking on this icon here and, and set your columns and rows. Same same way as uh, any other of our thumbnails view, some thumbnail views. If you double click on this item here, it'll bring it up in the main screen so that you can go ahead and inventory it. This makes inventorying a worldwide collection both easy and fast. Uh, what I usually do is sort my stamps into groups of topics and then use the global search method to quickly inventory them. Uh, as I mentioned, switching between the spreadsheet view and the thumbnail view is a really powerful way uh, to you know, get a visual on, on uh, when you're inventorying uh, your stamps. Now, when you are in the uh, spreadsheet view here, you can toggle this uh, this um, image preview on and off. Uh, so if I click down here, I'm going to turn it off, and then I'm going to turn it back on. Now, to access any preview, uh, previously saved searches we did, we click on Import, which is this icon down here. So if I click on the Import, Here's a list of all the searches I've done recently. Here's my World War II uh, search. So I select it and click open. It'll open that up. And then you can just go ahead and choose whatever it is that you want. I show it in the, uh, in the main screen. And then I would just go and inventory that particular stamp and move on. Now, if I close this search, I haven't lost it. You can always go back to the options menu and then, um, uh, sorry, the view menu. And we go here, click on global search results, and it'll bring up the last search you did. If you want to go back to a previously saved search, you would use the import icon. I uh, personally find this very useful as it prevents me from having to do these searches all over again. Sometimes they can take a, a little while to do, but uh, the, the save and recall is the way to go. We also made some significant changes to the, um, the drill down search. I'm going to use the Australia database uh, to show you this. So the drill down search is accessed by going to this icon right here. Uh, which is an inverted triangle and that'll bring up this screen here and if I want to do a search for let's say ships and click search and then I can just scroll through and any stamp in Australia that has a ship on it will be up here double click on it here and it'll bring it up on the main screen so that you can inventory it Another enhancement we've made is uh, we started a couple of years ago um, adding first day cover images for uh, a lot of countries. Uh, one of them is Germany. I'll show you that here. And we've added approximately 3,500 new uh, images, first day cover images for Germany, Berlin, DDR, Australia, and Oman uh, with values for each. So you can see that we've added the values and the first day cover images for, for these stamps here. And I'll just open up Berlin as well. And as you can see, they're all there. Obviously there are more coming in 2022. That's it for now, for now. Enjoy.